makes our subject sick. We talk about feeling sick. What's the matter with Hotspur? Standing there like a sack of soggy seaweed. Wake up, Hotspur. You wake up. It was no good, Oswald. You try. I don't know what the world's coming to. My only son and he goes around in fishnet tights. Why can't he dress sensibly, like me? Hotspur, come with Abby. Wake up, Hotspur. Hottie. She's beautiful. Beautiful. If you're talking about your mother, Hotspur, you're dead, right? No, no, I mean her. Have you ever seen anyone so perfect? Who is she? Where she come from? What's she doing here? You don't think she's dead? Well, there's only one way to find out. Well, she seems to put all the right things in the right places. And in the right proportions. But who is she? And why doesn't she speak? <coughs> I know. Let's ask her subjects. Once in a while, Oswald, you come up with a reasonable suggestion. Does anybody here know anything at all about this here pass on? I do, Your Loftiness. And who might you be, my man? I might be a little Bo Peep, Your Excellence. I might be a little Jack Horner, but I'm not. I might be almost anyone, but I'm not. I'm Humpty. Who are you really? <laughs> Does it hurt? <laughs> no, Humpty Dumpty, Your Excellence. And I've got an horrible headache. Uh, you don't need to make excuses to me, young man. <laughs> Boys and girls, I've got an horrible headache. What have I got? Oh. Oh. That's the best you can do. What have I got? Oh. And I've got this thing about heights. Vertigo. Pardon? Vertigo. He might have done your whiskiness, but I can't say I saw him. Saw who? Bertie. Who's Bertie? I don't know. You brought him up. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. And did you remember? Oh, no, I didn't. I said I had this thing about heights, and you said... Vertigo. That's right. Vertigo <laughs> is a fear of heights. Idiot. Compliments won't get you anywhere, your snootiness. It's just that every time I climb up, I fall down on my head. I've tried tranquilizers, padded hats, parachutes, but it's no good. I'm so unhappy. <laughs> what about her? Oh, that's the Sleeping Beauty, ain't she, your neighbour? Sleeping Beauty? Well, that's what we call her. But I reckon she's a princess from a far off land. She said many years ago, BSG in fact. BSG? Before the Spice Girls. She got bit. Bit? Yeah, by a glass eyed, hairy monster. Don't look at me. I never touched her. I'm not a beauty biker. Well, what happened to her then? Well, me and Tom, Tom Piper's son, we thought we'd own a Bob and Sue show for the Christmas fair, didn't we, Tom? That's right. And it all worked out beautiful, we did, didn't we? That's right. 50p a time we'd have been a charge, wouldn't we? That's right. And then this bloke came along, didn't they? That's right. And what did he say? That's wrong. That's right. We thought if a lot of people came to see her, it might wake her up. But they wouldn't let us. Why ever not? Because she doesn't belong to Nurka. What, Nurka? The Nurses on Coast Association. You see, if you don't belong to Nurka, you can't be exposed in public. That's right. <coughs> so we take her around with us, hoping that someone, somewhere, will be able to wake her up. But what's her name? Oh, she ain't got no name. At least wait she she can't tell us. Well, then I shall call her Perfecta, because she's everything that a man could ever desire. She is perfection. Let me go! Take your hands off me! Not likely you're a game crasher! I'm not! I'm not! I'm sure she can explain. Well, let's see what Her Majesty's had to say. What's all this, then? She's one of them, Your Majesty. One of them? Well, she's not one of us, she, so she must be one of them. I bet she's a gay crasher. I'm sure she can explain. <coughs> Have you lost something, dear? I'm always using things, cheap and things. The only thing she's going to lose is her dignity. That's what happens to gay crashers. And I bet she doesn't belong to her. What have you got to say to yourself, my girl? What are you doing at our party? My name's Holly, Your Majesty, and I'm sorry if I've caused any trouble. <coughs> oh, no, you're not. You're not sorry at all. Why don't you shut up and go and watch your garden grow? Go on, dear. Tell us all what you've got. <coughs> but I haven't lost anything. And I've just as much 
much right to be here as the rest of you. Well, you tell that to Mother Hubbard then. I'm sure she's lost something. Quiet, girl. Carry on. Well, I know little bits that always gets left behind, Your Majesty. That little bit is right. I think I see you're the one who's lost. No. Look, as Your Majesty's know, well, there's a little piece of holly on every cracker, but no one takes any notice of it. They're far too busy finding out what's inside. <coughs> Well, that's me. I'm Holly. No one takes notice of me either. Oh. It's to call me a gay crusher. Oh. Even my fairies have fallen off. Oh. There, there. You see, I was right all the time. She's lost her berries. We must help her to find them. Well, I'm not looking for her berries. I still think she's a gay crusher. I'm not. What's that smell? Mm -hmm. Everything that would be the pig. Smell? Like to talk about a burning smell. Burning? Oh my goodness, my buns! Buns? I put some buns in the oven before we came out, and now they'll be ruined! Ruined! Oh. You really could be more careful when she had buns in the oven. I thought I'd better go and help her. Come on, Hotspur, lend a hand. Hotspur, your buns, buns are burning! Burning? Oh yes, burning. With passion, with desire, with unrequited love. Unrequited poppycock! You better start thinking about the unrequited temper of the Titanic's old queen with the burnt buns! I'm off!
me and hers, boy. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, you can be me worst man. Oh, it will be an honour, Your Highness. Good. <laughs> Have no fear, I'll find a way to foil their wicked plan. May I be permitted to escort the lady to your kingdom, Your Highness? Of course you can, Squire. Right, you and you will get the top off, you get the legs, and you can keep your axe to yourself. So, here we go, here we go, here we go.
the rain hit, Your Majesty. I was afraid. Some of these awful people came along the stage, and I should say, weren't very nice at all. And they saw the sleeping princess, and one of them said to take her back to Gazanda and make her his queen. The Russian devil! Where's Gazanda? At the Gazova, I expect her. Where's Gazova? Over Gazanda there. Oh, do be quiet, Oswald. What happened then? Aunt Tim Tom tried to stop him, Your Majesty, but there was a big fight. Oh, and it was so one-sided, especially as... Especially as what? Oh, I can't tell you. It will only make you cross. Something to do with that no-good son of ours, I expect. Oh, Mum, I thought he would have spite for the princess, but he didn't. He didn't? He didn't. He joined the other side. He did -o. He did. He even helped to take the princess away. He did -o. He did. He did. He a right of guest. He's always still tops. I could disown him. I could beat him for sure. Well, that's if we can catch him. But what do we do in the meantime? We can't leave this poor girl at the mercy of those ruffians, let alone Hotspur. Uh, there's only one thing we can do here. Oh, yes, and what's that? There's only one solution to this problem. Oh, you can't possibly mean... There's only one way out of this predicament. You mean... Generous. 
rough people I've got my son for bells to attend to. <laughs> I wouldn't mind lending a hand. You might find Holly's bones. It's very kind of you all. But in a case like this, the fewer that are involved, the better. I only need one assistant. And if you don't think it's too dangerous... Oh, crikey, man! I'd miss any danger with you! But what are you going to do? I mean, I'll do myself a nasty if I didn't know what's going on. <laughs> well, first of all, Your Majesty, I must pick up the trail of the villains before it gets cold. After that, I'm keeping my cards close to my chest. Ugh, what a chest! <laughs> but if you follow us, too closely and out of sight, I promise you won't be disappointed. Come along, Polly.
me cry. I can't stand sniffing once I start. No matter how hard I try. I cried as I watched that lovely scene. I shed a tear or two. Pity it was just a dream. And none of it was true. But dreams do come true sometimes, it said. Fools rush where wise men fed drink. <laughs>
looking after the cows and the sheep and playing the trumpet in Wacky Frost Band. And I'm tired too, that's past eight o'clock and that's my bedtime. <laughs> Shall I sleep while well on him, girl? Shall I snap them, boss? When Bob said to pick up a couple of workers to be out with the wedding, he said it'd be wallies like me. I'm not a wally, I'm a little boy blue and I'm not. Ooh! I was having a lovely nap under the haystack when pow! <laughs> and next thing I know, here I am. And I'm not a wally either, I'm winky. I'm really, really winky. And I was just having a stretch before I went to sleep when... And I'll just tell everyone that's past nine o'clock and that's big top. Oh, no, you won't. You were brought here to do a job and a job you're going to do. Oh, oh no, no, we, we won't. won't. Raspberry jam. Raspberry jam. Raspberry jam. 
beg your pardon, Lord Majestic, this get as bad as the House of Commoners. Oh, well, I mean, His Majesty and I were just having a quiet conversation about the ongoing situation. Oh, what's that then? We feel that in view of the hiatus brought about procrastination and the dilettante nature of existing circumstances, it might be advisable to utilise a terminological exactitude to ascertain by mathematical, algebraical and geometrical methods. Ignoring for the moment the possibility of an astrological assistance whose direction we have been following and arrived at this church at present time and whose pedestrian interrogations will lead us to in the next distant future. Oh. Is that not so, old world? If you say so, my dear. You mean we're lost? Lost? Has someone else lost something? Oh, uh, not exactly lost, would you say, old world? Oh, I would, my dear. I would. Uh, just let's say at this present time, and I mean this present time, uh, Certain whereabouts lead rise to a degree of, uh, oh, what's the word? Ambiguity. That's right, old world. But we can't be lost. We were following you, your business. That's right. Oh. And you were following Cracker Man. That's right. And he was following his own inclinations. I say, look what I find. What is it? What does it say? It's mine. I find it. But what does it say? It says... This way, and there's an arrow pointing. Which way? Which way what? Which way is the arrow pointing? That way. <laughs> Which way was it pointing when you found it? I don't know. I just picked it up and brought it over here. How should I know which way it was pointing? How should I know which way it was pointing? <laughs> you great big double! Don't you see? It was a sign from Cracker Man to tell us which way to go. And now you've got a mighty arrow Was it that way? Oh, it couldn't be that way you're uncomfortable. This way just come from there. Oh. Hmm, it might have been that way. Right, then, here we go. No, 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 Watson. I've got an idea. Let's ask the subjects out there if they know. Which way do you think the arrow was pointing? <laughs> that way. That way. I don't want to go that way because it's good as way as any, isn't it? <laughs> Hang on. We're not all here. You, you can say that again. No, I mean, we're too short. Too, sh too short? That's nasty. You mean we've lost someone? That's right. Oh, yes. <laughs> Where's Boy Blue? And we will he. Fast asleep, probably. Well, that was with us in the fight. That's right. Boy Blue was blowing his bugle. Until someone stuck it up and <laughs> stuck it up to I reckon they've been captured. Oh, poor Boy Blue. Oh, poor Winky. But they're probably better off where they are than we are where we are now. Yes. Well, it's no good staying round here. We'd better go and find them. Yes. Come along. Come along, Oswald. Stop. All right, man. Right. 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 <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Remember me? Yes. Good. I just managed to sneak away from the others to see if the effect is all right. You won't give me away, will you? No. You know I haven't really drawn the dogs lot, don't you? Yes. So if you see any of them coming, will you let me know? Yes. And you're going to have to shout really loud because the acoustics in here aren't very good. And what to shout? Um, how about behind you? <laughs> Should we give it a go up to three? One, two, three. Bye. Sure, that was 
Why? 
here. Why? Well, Donkey's sure to miss me sooner or later. And if he finds us like this, there's no knowing what he'll do. So, it was Zonk who brought you here. He's really evil. He had you fetched here to make you his queen. Well, then he's going to hand you up to Dean. Dean? His sister, to see if she could wake you up. I pretended to be on their side, but I've really been waiting for a chance to rescue you. Oh, Foxfur! <laughs> oh, well, well, well. Look what we got here, sister dear. <laughs> It looks as if our prisoners have turned into a butterfly, brother <laughs> Dean. Yeah. It takes the bars rather looking forward to waking her. Hey, now, little scat. Thinks he's turned into an eagle, don't he? <laughs> Shall I stick one on him, go? Shall oh. I sock it to a boss? All in bad times, let's all in bad times. First, we've got to get him ready for the wedding, ain't we? With a real live bride this time. <laughs> got your cups with you. Never without you, go. Right. Mary Manacles is never parted, boss. So I've noticed. I've got me transfer as well, go. Play it on him. What's a lot of <clears throat> No, you tie him up to the end of that chain there until we're ready for him. <clears throat> Off you go, because they ain't got much. Don't want to get away from the wedding. You won't get away with this, you know. Oh, no. I shall it? fight you. Oh, well, you and who's on? To the go. last breath of my body. Oh. <laughs> Don't that make your heart bleed, sister dear? Oh, it does! <laughs> it does! But what about these two? What are these? Shouldn't our hearts bleed for them too? Well, Just say the word, boss. I need to practice, Gov. You don't have to worry about us, sir. Yeah. Oh, I'm so tired. Yes. <laughs> I can't remember my line. You never can. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was a haystack I could easily go to sleep. Sorry, son. No haystack. But as her ladyship won't be needing a little lunch's couch here, you two can go on there and have a little snooze until we sleep. Here. Think of all that washing up. My wardrobe will need to be washed and ironed. Oh, well, There's the ubery yes. and the dusty, bars to light and, and boots to clean. You! What's that? that? I thought I'd earn something out of it! So did I! House flat, go and see what it is! Pink! Go on, get back! That's what a crash out is! <laughs> there she is! Get out! Get out! Get out! Go away! Please! I've never heard of the next one to her! Oh, no! Here we go! Oh, bring her up here! Well, 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 what have we got here? <laughs>
We shall cut him off without a penny. Then it is out here. Yes, 
to be a human for half star. Half star, Boy, whose side are you on? Lucky <laughs> you're a friend of mine. Otherwise, you get one stuck on you. Oh, the prairie. Oh, well, you decide you didn't even if it were nice or. Oh, yes, I would. Oh, I love you, you man. man. Oh, yes, I would. Oh, oh, I love you, man. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Well, that's something for the Guinness Book of Records. Uh, we could eat it to the help of the wedding. No singing. No. no singing. 
you hockey hole. Just you celebrate all day this way. Wait, all the guys get this. Let's get it off the line. Get it on. 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 Get it on.